Hello everyone and welcome to our brand new series of competitive multiplayer. I will be playing against Farmer Dex, who is here. We start off with very similar equipment. I say similar because it's not exactly the same. Dex has Mr. Dex the Silage King on the side of his harvester and trailer. And I have Farmer Scythe, a bit of a big deal. On the side of my trailer. Unfortunately, at the moment, I still have Mr. Dex the Silage King on the side of my harvester. But Dex is going to uh, to rectify that. And we will be... Uh, yes, we will be updating that to my logo on the side of my harvester as well. We both start off with a Kubota M7-172 tractor. Medium tractor. A harvester. And a mower. But that is it. We have no land. We have £100,000 each. So, first job is to get on and buy some farmland. So, uh, ooh. map overview. So, it seems that Mr. Dex has already bought field 35. Um, I, we, I have highlighted already the fields that are ready for harvest. Let's have a quick look here. So, if we go for field 75... What crop is that? That would be... Wheat? Wheat. Yes. Or we could... Uh, I want to be able to expand around wherever we are. Right, come on. Right, ready to harvest. Um, we need to be able to expand around wherever we are. Uh, so I'm just having a look and seeing what other fields are available. If we go for something like field 46, which would be canola. Well, there is even a, a yard over here. Let's have a look and see if... Oh, hello. No, we're in here. Let's have a look and see if this is the sort of yard that we would want to expand to. Ah, no. This is all a vineyard. Right. So... This is a vineyard, so we'll ignore that. Um, it looks like Dex has already made a start. So yeah, the rules are very simple on this game. It's going to be uh, basically you start off with what you start off with. You are the the game is running at time six time. We start each episode at eight o'clock in the morning. There is one day per month. Uh, you're allowed to work up until midnight. On any particular episode if there is work to do I don't think that, that will be the case for most things though um, all right let's go and visit this field down here and see if it's something we want this is a car park area so we won't be building on on here uh, right and there is a bit of a, a factory over this way Field 42. So yeah, we're, we've got certain mods in engaged, engaged, enabled, but we are not allowed to um, we are not allowed to use easy, easy development controls. So no super strength or anything like that. Right, I think I think I think we'll go with field 40, uh, 75 here. I think that would be a good one to go for. Although, oh, I need to be able to build a farmyard somewhere. This is the problem, you see. Too much choice. How much is this one here? £56,000. So that is... Mm, that's n not an area with good expansion potential. Oh... Right, let's go with 42 to start with, because we need to start making some money. So buy that. And we need to get the harvester down there. ASAP. And we can start work straight away getting that field harvested. I'm hoping that I'm not going to need a trailer. A header trailer to get down there. There's decks over there already working away. So yeah, the idea is we're going to be building our own farms on our own land. 
um, and building up a bit of an empire. But in true competitive format, we'll be doing that uh, completely alone. Uh, which way do I go to get there? I have to go across the bridge and then turn left. Let's hope we fit across the bridge. Yes, yeah, so there'll be no helping each other out. Uh, we do have certain mods that I have never used before, if I'm perfectly honest, and I will be learning how to use those as we go. Uh, mods such as... Um, what was it? This mod here, the time-saving stop check. No idea what that is. So, yeah, we will be... Uh, we are allowed to use... Um, workers, but we don't have auto drive or um, course play enabled. But yeah, we're on. Oh, I haven't even said the map name, have I? We're on Castle Nord. Really fantastic, beautiful, beautiful, lovely map. Just absolutely spot on for getting us. Uh, involved and getting um, causing chaos on the roads as Dex and I tend to do especially Dex let's face it it's his fault but yeah this way to our new field so the plan I think will be to harvest field 42 and maybe start building a bit of a yard just off it Ah, oh, it's down there do I need to be down there I think I need to be down there uh, there is a road. Oh dear. I'm in the wrong place. It looks like there's a little road that goes down possibly next to it there. How on earth do I get to my field? Oh, we've got some billboards, look. <laughs> uh, Dex has done, done really well on this map. He's, he's set it up. I'm very happy with this. Um, he will also be doing his own videos. So I will put a link to Dex's videos in the description, the video description. And we will be able to uh, to crack on and you'll be able to watch us both to see who is doing the best. And I will guarantee you it will not be me. But we're going to try our absolute hardest to beat Dex. That's the goal. Right, so what we're going to do, we're here now. We'll unfold and we'll start off by doing a lap of the field. Uh, we want to save the straw. Yep, good. It is depositing straw, which is fantastic. So I have got a little bit of an unrealistic speed advantage here. Well, I say advantage. Dex has got the same advantage. So it's... Um, it's the uh, slightly faster header. So we can get this harvested super quick. I think I've picked a field with fairly poor access to it, if I'm perfectly honest. Not ideal at all. I think our next purchase will be field 99 over here and we can join them both together as we can go off around the corner and that's probably a better place to build a sort of farmyard on, I think. Keep field 42 separate. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Got crop destruction on so we do have to watch where we're going. Right, like I said, crop destruction is on. I'm not used to harvesting at this speed, but that's what we've agreed upon as part of the uh, the rules. So that's what we're going to be doing. This was our starting equipment. Okay, I'm going to get on and get this field sorted and finished. And then we will have a look at... Uh, selling the grain straight off the field if we can 
I know it won't be the best price for it at the minute, but um, yeah, we just need to sell it and get on. It looks like I've got a lot of room in this uh, harvester as well, so I may not even need the um, tractor and trailer at the minute to start with. We shall see. Well, there we go. That is the field complete. Which is pretty good. Just out of interest, how much is that little bit over there? 13,300. So 13,300 for that other field there. I think it's, it might be worth it. Uh, as for access, it's going to be through the car park here. Uh, yeah, we're going to buy that and we're going to turn that into our farm. Right then. Don't think there's anything growing in at the minute. We could get a plough and connect the two fields together. Possibly. At least I'm hoping so. Uh, is there anything in it at the minute? Um, growing. So, yes, there's grass growing in it. Oh, well, grass is good. We like grass. So this bit up here, though, is going to be our little yard. What we need to do now, though... Is go and get our tractor and trailer. And we could do with taking the uh, taking the mower back at the same time. Pick that up. Ah, oh, yes, this whole chestnut of it being a giant thing on the front, like a whale, a narwhal. Right. Let's hook up to the trailer then. And we will head off to our patch of land. So, I think this is where we want to come off down this way. Uh, oh no. No, we need to go across the river first. This is not the way. Not the way at all. This is going to take some getting used to, I feel. Right. Oh dear. Right. Over there, around there. At least it clears that fence, and that one too. Brilliant, good. So we won't always be driving around with a mower sticking out the front. I'm just gonna I'll put it in a shed when we've got one. But we're gonna start off by selling the grain that we've just harvested. There is our plot of land, and that's gonna be where our farm is. Although, it doesn't actually look that flat at the minute, so we'll have to sort that out. Uh, we need to go in here and head down this way. This is it. This will be the entrance to our farm through the car park. And there is only a one one way around the car park, although I'm just going to nip through over this way. And... Hmm. 
Uh, I think I've elected to possibly have a farmyard that is only accessible via footpath. So it may well be that the farmyard ends up being somewhere slightly different. Oh, poop. Well, the good news is... When we can buy it, then this field over here would be ideal for a, a farmyard. Right then, let's put down the mower. Uh, we'll leave that there. We'll bring the harvester over to the trailer. Because this, this bit is, is going to end up being an extension of the field over there. And then once we've sold this grain, we'll have a look at getting a baler so we can bale up that straw. I do want to be getting animals, although it's going to be, I think, probably a bit soon to be thinking about that. Possibly. Maybe the yard could be up at that end of the field there. That's more accessible, isn't it? Straight through the car park and out the other side. Yes. There's a quarry over there. I'm not sure that we've actually picked the best fields for our work. Or for a, a farmyard, anyway. It's possible that we don't have a farmyard to start with. We'll just have the fields. We'll just abandon the equipment over near them. And then we'll possibly find a better place for a farmyard at another time. I think there are certain farmyards available to buy anyway. Uh, possibly. Hmm. Well, maybe this one over here. Well, anyway. Let's get the harvester folded up. And switched off. And we'll just leave it abandoned over here for now. What we need to do is find the best place to sell wheat. Uh, so wheat is best at the grain mill at the minute. No, it's not. It's best at Scarvente. And where is Scarvente? Have I missed it? Hmm. Ah, there it is. Garvente. Right. Well, we should pop along to there. So I will tell you, one of the uh, mods that we have got at the minute, we have got going, is um, the ability to lease uh, productions, so production facilities. So if we wanted to now, we could lease the grain mill, put this amount of grain into the grain mill, and create flour, which obviously would be worth a lot more than just the grain on its own. So that is a possibility. How do I get out of here? What's this? Dex, the silage king. For all your silage leads, look no further than Mr. Dex. We cut it, bail it, and buy it. I'm beginning to think his head's getting bigger. The Silage King. King. Hmm. Right, let's shifty along to the grain mill. Have a look at what the state of it is at the minute. I have no idea how you lease a grain mill or anything like that. 
but we'll have a look and see if it is worth doing that. Right, here we are. Uh, oh, here we go. We can buy or lease it. Lease this building for a thousand pounds a day. Let's do it. Right, let's get the wheat flour in there. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, right, okay, so the products... Oh, golly, I don't know how to do this. Let's have a quick look. Right. Uh, Scar Grains is over there. That's not what I want, though, is it? I want the production. So the grain mill is being leased by me. That's me. So I believe... It wants to go into here, doesn't it? To make flour. Uh, which I think is what the sign is saying. Right. Please, please, please let this work. Oh. Oh. Well, it hasn't worked. Ah. Oh. Pants. Okay, so Dex and I have had a little bit of experimental time. It turns out the leasing of the production facilities isn't working entirely well on this production, specifically. I don't know whether it's working on the other ones. We will leave the mod on and have a look. Uh, but what we need to do now is get ourselves a baler. Uh, this is not the place I want to be. Here we are. We want to go over here. So I have got a hitch on the back of this trailer here, uh, I noticed. So we can get ourselves a baler. And hopefully hook it to the back of this trailer. To take back in one long lump. I'm also going to get a front loader for this tractor. And... Yes, uh, we want to get a front loader so that we can lift up the bales as well. Right, so customise this. Front loader attacher, Kubota. I'm also going to change this. Oh, no. So it matches. Oh. matches the combine. Perfect. Uh, yep, Kubota front loader, so that costs us £1,500. Um, and then what we need, we'll have a look in the sale here, but what we need is the Kubota front loader. Here we go. Buy that for 10000 uh, then we need a front load of tool. Front load of tools. Here we go. So I reckon just a bale spike to start with should be grand. Brilliant. Uh, as for balers, I did notice a 2.3 ton weight there. That's a lot. I did notice there were some balers in here. There are crone ones but there is this one and this one looks absolutely amazing this can do the big bales as well so i'm gonna buy that which takes us down to fifteen thousand pounds which is probably not the best move i've ever made
So we're also going to need a trailer to sell those bales on. Now we do have some options of an auto load trailer. Um, because Dex finds it extremely difficult to use front loaders and, and things. In fact, what have I done? I've just gone and bought this front loader and everything. And I don't even need the front loader because we've got auto load trailers. Oh, well, I've just lost. Yes. Well, that's a bit of a pain. However, at least we've made £8,400 back. So, I have just thrown away some money there. Uh, but we have got a baler. And we've got one that I believe will last the test of time. Uh, if you're wondering about that telehandler in the shed there, that is the dealer's telehandler that we are both allowed to use. Is this going to work? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Right, let's get this big train back to the farm. And then we can do some bailing. At least I know the way into the farm now. And we're going to have to create a farmyard up the top where, the, uh, where our bigger field is a bit flatter, I think. Expansion is going to be the name of the game. So yeah, we're going to have to figure that out pretty quick. Um, it's it's such a beautiful map. I don't I don't know whether it's quite suited to competitive multiplayer, but we're here. We are going to make it work, and we are going to win this thing if I don't go bankrupt in the process. So what I want to do is we're going to make the entrance to our farm over here. So the farmyard can be built up here on this bit. It's not ideal. It's not exactly flat, but it'll do. Oh, oh, tree, tree. What am I doing? What am I doing? Right. Let's take that off there. We'll take that off there and we will get this hooked up right let's just check we are on crikey that's a lot of options uh vca settings what on earth is that vehicle control add-on good lord Well, let's forget all that at the minute. Uh, bail ID manager, okay. Good lord. Uh, right, anyway. Let's change the bail size to the biggest. Basically, that's all I wanted to do. Uh, we'll do a couple of laps of the outside of the field. Drop in the bales as we go. And then we can have a think about what we're going to do in terms of a drill. I'd love to get a direct drill. I don't know what the cheapest one of those is going to be, but it's certainly going to be uh, more than I've got. Given how we're throwing money away left, right and centre. Right, we'll get on with this bailing. I think the orange and the red clash horrendously, but we'll get on with the bailing anyway. And then we will have a look at getting a trailer to pick up and sell the bales. 
and a drill. Right then, that is the field baled to a point. So we now have a baler as well. This can be stored over here currently. By the end of this episode, I'm hoping to have a shed to put everything in. Now, we are allowed to lease things on this game. So there's no problem leasing things. However, I do want to just check the sale to see if there's any auto load trailers in here. I don't know why there are so many items in the sale. Um, I'm assuming it's one of the mods that, uh, that Dex has put on. I can't say I like it, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, I don't like having this many options in the sale. It scares me. Good Lord, there's so much stuff. So much stuff. There's a bag of chicken feed in the sale. Of course, this bag of chicken feed has had 7.1 hours on it, and is 8 months old. <sighs> hmm. Oh, that would have been good to get that, wouldn't it? Damn! <laughs> oh, I should have looked all the way to the end of it. Anyway, there are no autoload trailers in there. Comes under Castle Nord. Ah, of course. Um, so, if we're looking at bale loaders... Uh, oh. What have we got here? This is what we want. Right, £9,000 there. You can fit... Between 4 and 12. Hmm. £9,000, £11,000, or £21,000. Ah, but they only do to 159 centimetre bales, whereas this goes to 189 centimetres. And ours are 180. That's weird that it goes to 159. Right. Uh, configuration. Bales auto load. Balcony? Oh. Um, yeah, do I want Kubota orange ish? Yeah, why not? Why not? Not that it is Kubota orange, that's just orange. That's the uh, Shouten Shouten. Oh well, let's lease that 1180. Am I even going to make that off the, the bales that we've got? I should do. Right, that's now leased. Let's go and pick it up. We will load the bales up onto the trailer and take them away. We will then need to lease a direct drill of some sort to get the field planted. Because without anything in the ground, we are certainly not going to win this. Oh, lag spike. We really, really need to get started onto this. What field is he buying now? Oh, he's bought 37. That's the one I was looking at. Ah! 
the swine. I should have bought that to start with. But it would have been too close to his farm. Never mind. So the other thing we discussed in the previous time was... Um, was... Collectibles. There are collectibles on the map. We are not going to be collecting them, just to make it fair. Dex has no interest in looking for collectibles. And... I'm, I'm not really that bothered either. So, we've decided that if we find collectibles, we just ignore them. We do not pick them up. Which I think is reasonable. Now, unloading assistant off. Unloading assistant on. Operating position B. Oh, operating position, transporting position. So we want operating position to start with. I'm not really sure what unloading assistant is. But either way, we're on operating position. We want to pick the bales up. Select, Selected work mode pro. If you say so. Right, let's pick up them bales. Well, that hasn't worked. Why hasn't that worked? Right, I don't know what happened. Uh, played around a little bit and now it works, so... I don't know. Uh, maybe because I enabled it by pressing B and not my uh, normal button. Uh, having said that... Do, why why is this now that's not right was I not close enough to it let's try there we go it turns out you have to be ridiculously close to it to auto load so that's what's happening now right so we're going to go and sell these we are then going to return this trailer and go and pick up a direct drill absolutely what we need to do is get a direct drill now there are 66,000 litres of straw here which is not bad at all there we go right that's that sorted so where are we going to go and sell it oh hang on before we do anything let's change it to transporting position good uh, straw, 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 straw. Here it is. Animal dealer. That's the only place. Let's tag that. Uh, oh, it's over. Oh, it's a long way away. All right, how do I get there? Uh. Oh, crikey, that is a long way away. Right, all the way back over past the store. And then continue on. Hmm. There's no point in putting straps over it if it's an auto load, I guess. So, I need to go all the way over past the store just to sell this, and then we will rent ourselves a direct drill and come back and drill the field. Before we drill the field, I want to build a shed at the top end. And then we can start to store our equipment in the shed. I'll be perfectly honest with you all, this is, isn't is going as well as I'd anticipated it to start with. Right. Let's get over to the animal dealer. Hmm. That's interesting. There's some gates there. Do I, can I open up those gates or not? Yes, I can. Possibly should go around this way, though. be able to get the trailer in. We don't have to get the trailer out because we can return the lease straight from here. Okay. Will it take the bales automatically? I don't think so. So how do I do this then? Uh, 
unload bales. Why? Hmm. Abort unloading. Let's do the unloading assistant. Aha! Ooh. There. Unload. Unload bales here. Yes. Yeah! Well, 4,800. That was worth it then. Uh, right, so let's now return the trailer. And what we need to do is rent ourselves a direct drill. Uh, first of all, what horsepower have we got here? 168 horsepower, which isn't too bad. But we definitely need a direct drill. Uh, this seed offers the possibility to seed directly with no previous cultivating and how much is it? 5,584. Okay. 4,000 litres of seed. I'd even check the power requirements, but we'll, we'll muddle through that bit. Uh, so big bags of seed. We should go with... If we go with four, we can empty it out into the shed afterwards, can't we? So we'll purchase that for 3,200. And we will get over to the dealership to pick that up. Because what we need is crop in the field. And I think what we're going to put in is sorghum, to be honest. Because sorghum is going to be the best crop to put in. Uh, sorghum and soybeans. In fact, to save us a little bit of money, because we don't need to fertilise soybeans, we will put in soybeans. Because the return on those can be quite good, and without having to fertilise, we will be in a better position financially. Ooh, lagtastic. Farmer Dex there. I'm watching what he's doing, not what I'm doing. So, let's get the drill. I am going to have to get a front loader. I don't know why I returned the front loader. I am going to have to get a front loader because of manhandling pallets and things. Uh -huh. Oh, look, this could do fertilizer at the same time. Luckily. Oh. We don't want fertilizer because we're going to be doing soybeans. So, uh, soybeans, there we are. Right, I'll see you back at the field. Right then, so, shall we put in a shed? Construction, sheds. Oh, you are kidding me. Ah, uh, because we don't have shop sorting on, so there are sheds all over the place. Oh, that's an expensive shed. I want the um, well, the cheapest but most useful shed we can get. Nope. Hmm. Maybe a shed's not an overly good idea to start with. That's too small. That's too expensive. That's too small. That's too expensive. Hmm. Right. Well, this is the one we've gone with. Uh, I'm not sure what those red crosses are for. But either way, we have a shed now. Uh, let's just paint around it a little bit. Bit of asphalt. Uh, I 
There we go, we can have an entrance to our farm. Lovely. We carry on this round here. For now, that will be a good place to keep our equipment. But, first of all... Oh, hang on. That looks like an auto-load barn. Oh, well. Anyway, first of all, we need to get some soya beans in the ground. So let's do that. Oh, where am I going? Come on now. Pay attention, Robert. There. That's better. That is the field done. As long as we've got a crop in the ground, we have potential income. Okay, I want to unload these pallets. There. Right. Uh, now we can return the cedar. It doesn't incur us any more costs. And we can start putting things in our shed. I don't think there's anything else we can do today, to be perfectly honest. We have done quite a bit. And it is... The sun is going down. Will the tractor fit through that lower part? Because if it will, I can drive through this way and then just leave the baler. Why am I so far away from the tractor? Oh. It does not fit. What I can do then is back the baler into that bit. I don't know what all these crosses and things on the ground are for. Must be for storing pallets or bales or something, but I'm using it as a shed. Right, that's that. Oh, that's fallen through the ground. Okay, well, that's there. Uh, let's go and get our mower and the trailer. I did say we're not always going to drive around with a mower on the front, but here we are. It's happening again. And then we'll just need to bring the harvester over as well. The trailer can go outside the shed, that'll be fine. But I'd like to get this into the shed here. Uh, oh, that's out the back of the shed there. Right, that'll do nicely for that. And then the trailer can go down the side next to where the seed is at the minute. I will get a front loader for this. I was silly to sell it. I am so indecisive that I've gone and cost myself loads of money. 
which is rubbish. Right. Uh, oh. Detach. And that. And now, we can bring the harvester up. Mr. Dex, the silage king. On the side of my harvester. Well, we'll see about that. Um, I don't even think it'll fit, to be perfectly honest, but... What's the worst that can happen? Ooh, it's, it's fitting. So that's not the worst that will happen. Definitely won't fit under the back bit, though. Let's lower that down. Look at that. When the crop is fully grown, we can just come out of there harvesting straight away. <laughs> Fantastic. Obviously, the yard will develop over time and encroach into the field. Um, so, the only other thing I can do is have a look if there's any other combinable crops that will be ready soon. And how much the farmland will be. That's 24,000. Oh, oh, dear. So, I'm looking for some tiny fields, really. Tiny, tiny fields. That's not so tiny. That's certainly not tiny. So either grass or... Grass or a combinable crop, which are those that are highlighted, would be fantastic. Eight thousand. <laughs> Long way away there. Don't think we'll be taking the combine all the way up there. Um. Hmm. I just don't know for now. Is this is this a yard down here? Oh no, it's a production. Wine production, of course. Yes, that's what that was over there. Um Yeah, well we're gonna leave it for now. See how it goes. But that's enough for one day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.